Hi friends, welcome to Wisdom Jobs. My name is Syed Gori Mohammed and I am a history faculty. Today I am going to deal the history of Netaji. Netaji's history is not history but mystery and his death event is not uh, a death event but still it is a big controversy. Still the death event of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose is a million dollar question. Still the death event of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose is a million dollar question. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose in the year 1897. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was born in the year 1897 and died in the year 1945. 1945 August 18th as per the official news declared by Tokyo radio, radio Japan radio on August 22 right Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was born in Katak Odisha he was a native of Odisha right and he was born in a rich and a prosperous and a great family father was Janaki Janaki Nath Bose and mother was Prabhavati father was Janaki Nath Bose and mother was Prabhavati and father uh, was an advocate an advocate and he was a great a rich person and uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose had given high standard education in India and in Lang England and few uh, universities like Cambridge University. He was the student of Cambridge University, right? So he pursued his uh, degrees from the Cambridge University and later in the year 1919, he secured his degree from Cambridge University later 1919 he attempted ICS examination IC ICS examination he attempted ICS examination Indian Civil Services and uh, secured fourth rank he secured fourth rank and joined ICS service he joined ICS service but in the year 1920 he resigned the service as he was against the corruption was against the loyalty to the British loyal to the British and he was also against the racial discrimination or apartheid and this all things were there must prevail under this ICS service and immediately he resigned his job and entered in active Indian National Congress service active Indian National Congress service in the year 1920 from 1920 to 1939 he served in the Indian National Congress as a great politician and uh, the time when he entered Indian National Congress Gandhian era was started from 1920 right and there was a huge and a great moment called such non-cooperation or Sahai Nirakaran non-cooperation or Sahai Nirakaran moment non-cooperation moment from 1920 to 1922 and he supported Mahatma Gandhi and his activities during this non-cooperation moment and later he presided two important INC session one is at Haripura he presided two important INC session one is from Haripura Gujarat another one is from Tripuri Madhya Pradesh
ఫస్ట్ వన్ నైన్టీన్ థర్టీ ఎయిట్ హరిపుర సెషన్ గుజరాత్ అండ్ ద సెకండ్ సెషన్ ప్రిసైడెడ్ బై నేతాజీ సుభాష్ చంద్రబోస్ వాజ్ త్రిపురి సెషన్ మధ్యప్రదేశ్ రైట్ దిస్ టూ ఆర్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ సెషన్స్ హెడెడ్ బై నేతాజీ సుభాష్ చంద్రబోస్ అండ్ హియర్ ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ నైన్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ థర్టీ ఎయిట్ హీ బికేమ్ ద మోస్ట్ లీడర్ అండ్ ద ఐఎన్సి ఐఎన్సి మెంబర్స్ సపోర్టెడ్ హిమ్ అనానమస్లీ యాజ్ ద ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఐఎన్సి ఫార్ ద హరిపుర సెషన్ ఆఫ్ నైన్టీన్ థర్టీ ఎయిట్ ఇన్ గుజరాత్ బట్ లేటర్ ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ నైన్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ థర్టీ నైన్ ఈ టూ ఎలెక్టెడ్ యాజ్ ద ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ త్రిపురి సెషన్ త్రిపురి సెషన్ ఆఫ్ మధ్యప్రదేశ్ బట్ హీ వర్ ఎ గ్రేట్ కాంపిటీషన్ ఆర్గనైజ్డ్ బై మహాత్మా గాంధీ మహాత్మా గాంధీ హ్యాడ్ ఫ్యూ ఐడియోలాజికల్ డిఫరెన్సెస్ విత్ నేతాజీ సుభాష్ చంద్రబోస్ మహాత్మా గాంధీ ఫాలోడ్ ద పాలసీ ఆఫ్ అహింస ఆర్ నాన్ వైలెన్స్ అండ్ సత్యాగ్రహ బట్ నేతాజీ సుభాష్ చంద్రబోస్ హీ ఫాలోడ్ ద పాలసీ ఆఫ్ కమ్యూనిస్ట్ అండ్ సోషలిస్ట్ అండ్ హీ అడాప్టెడ్ ద పాలసీస్ ఆఫ్ రాడికల్ రెవల్యూషనరీ మెథడ్స్ సో దిస్ రాడికల్ పాలసీస్ అండ్ రెవల్యూషనరీ మెథడ్స్ వర్ నాట్ యాక్సెప్టెడ్ బై మహాత్మా గాంధీ ఇన్ ఇండియన్ నేషనల్ కాంగ్రెస్ అండ్ లెట్ ఎట్ దిస్ లెట్ టు ద డిఫరెన్సెస్ బిట్వీన్ గాంధీ అండ్ నేతాజీ సుభాష్ చంద్రబోస్ అండ్ ఇంక్రీజ్ ద గల్ఫ్ బిట్వీన్ నేతాజీ అండ్ గాంధీజీ right in the year 1939 there was a huge competition between gandhi ji and netaji for the position of president of indian national congress for tripuri session and here gandhi ji gandhi ji appointed patabi sitaramaiya leader from andhra was a great patriot and uh, die hearted fan and staunch follower of disciple of mahatma gandhi patabi sita ramaiya he was the representative of mahatma gandhi and uh, he started contesting the inc session of 1939 tripuri against netaji subhash chandra bos but mahatma gandhi's representative patabi sitaramaiya was defeated in the hands of netaji subhash chandra bose but here mahatma gandhi declared the defeat of patabi sitaramaiya is the defeat of mahatma gandhi the defeat of patabi sitaramaiya is the defeat of mahatma i accepted the reason he is my representative gandhi said and he is my representative and his defeat is my own responsibility that is my own defeat gandhi ji said gandhi ji declared and later this session increase uh, the gulf between netaji and gandhi ji finally netaji resigned inc in 1939 and entered and uh, started he resigned netaji resigned inc and he came out of inc and founded forward block a radical institution a radical organization with revolutionary measures a radical organization was started by netaji subhash chandra bose after coming out of uh, indian national congress called forward block forward block with a prime motto of india's independence from the clutches of britishers 41 netaji subhash chandra bose was house arrested in calcutta in calcutta but netaji cleverly managed to escape from the house arrest and he changed his dress completely to a pathan jiauddin right he changed his dress dressing style completely and appeared as a pathan jiauddin and 
immediately escape from the house arrest from Calcutta from Calcutta to Delhi he moved from Calcutta to Delhi annexed thereafter he moved towards Kabul and here he was assisted by he was supported by Uttam Chand he was assisted or supported by Uttam Chand and later he reached Russia and met Stalin but not for a lengthy time and later he went to Germany Germany where he met Hitler and he discussed his ideology and he discussed his plan of action against the Britishers and he discussed his objectives and motto prime motto in order to strengthen the nationalistic movement and achieve the freedom or azad for the indian nation later he came to japan where he met indian national army of captain mohan singh indian national army indian national army is an army organized or founded by captain mohan singh in 1941 captain mohan singh founded this in 1941 when indian soldiers actually participated in the second world war in behalf of uh, britain but unfortunately all are defeated and imprisoned by the japanese government but here one of the great soldier called captain mohan singh he had secret negotiations with japanese government and moved a resolution against the british and he said to the japanese government that the indians are expressing their grievances against the british and the indians want indians want freedom or independence but this bloody britishers did not providing it so we are the enemies of british we are not the ally of british we are not aliens of british but we are enemies and formidable enemies of britishers so kindly release us from the clutches of this imprisonment and kindly liberate us from the clutches of this imprisonment and remove the political imprisonment will support you against the british captain mohan singh said immediately captain mohan singh's view and idea were accepted by japanese government and japan supported this uh, 42000 soldiers to fight against the british and japan supplied arms and troops mainly the arms and weapons to fight against the british so this is how indian national army emerged or founded by captain mohan singh but in the year 1900 43 netaji subhash chandra bos became the leader of this indian national army after having negotiations with japanese government he became the leader of this indian national army and immediately changed the name to azad hind fauz azad hind fauz azad hind fauz fauz means military hind means india azad liberty or freedom india wanted freedom india wants freedom like azad hind fauz and he gave a great slogan chalo delhi jai hind give me blood i will give you freedom give me blood i will give you freedom mujhe khoon do mujhe khoon do main aapko azadi dunga this is a great slogan given by netaji subhash chandra bos and here azad hind fauz 
was divided into four regiments by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Azad Hind Force was divided into four regiments or four brigades. First one is Subhash. Next one is Gandhi. Third one is Nehru. Fourth one is Jansi. Subhash Regiment was organized by Captain Shanavas. Captain Shanavas Khan. Gandhi Regiment was organized by Prem Sehgal. Gandhi Regiment was organized by Prem Sehgal. Nehru Regiment was organized by Guru Baksh Singh Dilan and Jansi Regiment was organized by a powerful lady Lakshmi Lakshmi Sehgal. Lakshmi Sehgal organized uh, Jansi Regiment and these four regiments planned for Kohima March for Kohima March in order to close the chapter of British and to give freedom for the Indian nation. These regiments started Kohima March from Kohima to Delhi from Kohima to Delhi but unfortunately these all regiments were captured as captive and sent to Red Fort Delhi for the trial and there was a prosecution went on the political prisoners or the soldiers the soldiers were imprisoned and they were captured as captive and imprisoned in Red Fort and there was a trial they faced a trial or prosecution but here Indian advocates Jawaharlal Nehru, Bhulabai Deshai, Sartej Bahadur Sapru, Asaf Ali and Kailasanada Kaju these all advocates played vital role in order to release them from in order to liberate them from the British police action and immediately this all or came out from the red fort trials as according to the acts of Britain there is no punishment for the soldiers there is no punishment for the soldiers there is no punishment for the soldiers according to the British laws and rules and regulations so, on the pretext of this law, Jawaharlal Nehru, Bhula Bhai Deshai fought and they tried this case and they started prosecution. Finally, this all are given clean cheat and they came out from this great trouble. And then what, we, what was the history of this Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose? Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, according to few sources, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose on August 17, 1945, he travelled from on August 17, 1945, he travelled from Bangkok to Tokyo. On August 18th, his flight was crashed at Taiwan, Formosa Island. Formosa Island. Mainly August 18th, his flight was crashed at Formosa Island island located at Taiwan located in Taiwan Formosa Island his flight was crashed and this news or death event of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was given by Japanese radio from Tokyo August 22 1945 Japanese radio from Tokyo 
give the authentic information or official information regarding the death event or, or the flight crash of uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose at Formosa Island in Taiwan on August 22, 1945. But still, the death event of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose is a big mystery and million dollar question. We don't know what exactly happened, whether was he died or alive for more years. But there are three important committees were appointed by the government of India after India's independence. In the year 1956, Shanawas Committee, 1956, Shanawas Committee. In the year 1970, Khosla Committee, Khosla Committee. In the year 1999, Mukherjee Committee. Right, according to Mukherjee Committee's investigation and inquiry, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was not died in the flight crash after the India's independence, the post India Indian independence. He came to India and he settled as a Baba of Faizabad called Gumnami Baba. Right, settled as Gumnami Baba and he started his services in the temple in Faizabad, Uttar Pradesh. This is the report of uh, Mukherjee committee regarding the death of Mukherjee committee and he alive till 1985 according to this source but there is no any kind of official evidence or witness regarding the death event of this Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. But Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, he wrote many books as a brilliant and as a great intellect. He wrote many books. An Indian pilgrim, an Indian pilgrim. And the essential writings of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, the writings from 1941 to 1943, from German, German to Japan, freedom struggle. These are the important books written by. And Jaruri Kichu Lekha in Bengali language. Jaruri Kichu Lekha in Bengali language. These all are the important literary work successfully done by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Still, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose death is a point of debate and controversy and a mystery million dollar question. Till today, the investigation is going on, but no evidence found regarding his death. So this is about Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Thank you friends. Thank you very much. Do subscribe our channel. Do like, share and comment.